Hi everyone, it's Lee with Milk and Sugar Bath Company and today we are making a special custom lake soap for one of my wholesale clients. So what I have done is I have split out my oils in five different containers and we are going to be doing a layered landscape soap today. So if the first thing I'm gonna do is just push off two of these layers, three, of the containers, not two, three of the containers and keep two to work with. And we are going to go ahead and measure out our lye solution that we need into both of these. Okay, there's one, and now we'll do the other. Now, I have already added in my fragrance oil. The fragrance oil I'm using today is Salty Mariner from Be Scented, and it's a great kind of watery fragrance and perfect for uh, lake soap. I'm gonna go ahead and color the first two containers before I mix everything up. I just wanna put everything in, mix it up, and then work with it. So it's it's a lot easier and I'm not mixing it twice. Um, it's a small, tiny container of soap and I don't wanna go beyond um, tr the trace that I need. So the first container is gonna get Sea Green by Nurture Soap. And the second is going to get Cobalt Blue Ultramarine from Wholesale Supplies Plus. Let me add that sea green in. And what we're looking to do with this first part is to make this look like water on the bottom of our landscape. So what we're gonna have is, we're gonna have a layer of water, and then we're gonna have a mountain in the middle of the water, and then have the sky on top with the sun. This customer, guys, is, um, it's the sweet shop in Fairfield Bay, Arkansas. It is a place that I actually worked at when I was in high school. It's the cutest little community retirement um, vacation town on the lake. And they have this small shop called The Sweet Shop. They have ice cream and I used to make the fudge in the shop and they have cards and gifts and clothing and all kinds of fun things. And they asked me to make them a soap that was for all of the vacationers and that's what we have here and that's what we're making today is our Gross Fairy Lake soap. Okay, so what we're gonna do for the water portion is I'm gonna pour this ultramarine blue into the sea green as a small in the pot swirl. And no, it's not going to completely mix together. We're going to get to fine swirls. They will be wispy because this is definitely thin. It smells like a vacation. I want a vacation. Okay, so let's go ahead and pour this first layer. Now it's so runny right now, and that's perfect because we want this first layer to be really flat. Because we're gonna put the mountain on top. All right, we have our first layer in, and now it's time to do our mountain. Now I have let this sit for about 15 minutes at least. So it hardens up and we have a good surface to build our mountain on. So let me add this lye solution. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and add our color. It's gonna be mocha brown for the mountain. I'm gonna give this 
this a really, really good blend until it's quite thick so I can mold it on top of this uh, last layer. So I'm gonna blend for quite some time. brown to the point where it's almost like a thick icing and that's where I, I need this to be to build my mountain so this soap I I've, I've created this soap a couple times and it it never turns out the exact same but it always turns out super cute so let's Let's hope for the best here. So I'm just going to take this brown and start creating a line of soap down the middle. Now, what I'm creating is a mountain at the middle of a lake in Fairfield Bay, Arkansas, and it's called Sugarloaf Mountain. And, and I'll insert a picture of what it looks like. This is the town that, that I grew up in. And it's just a beautiful place. There's a lot of um, cool things to do. Like there's a, several golf courses there in town. There's a tennis pro shop. There's a lot of condos. There's obviously the lake. Uh, there's a lot of cute little shops like the sweet shop this is getting rather thick and that's perfect I'm just gonna keep building up the center and then I'm gonna try to smooth down the edges and make it more of a mountain shape And then we're gonna come in with the sky. I went ahead and added the lye solution to these containers already. Our fragrance is in there. So to one, I'm adding titanium dioxide. And to the other, I'm going to be adding equal parts of neutral gray from Nurture Soap. And sky blue from Nurture Soap. So the reason I add the gray to the sky is not to make it look gloomy at all, but to really give it set it apart from the green and the blue that are the water. All right, so we have both of those. So I'm gonna pour this gray blue into the white. And I'm gonna get it all in there. I don't need any extra. Now we're gonna pour our sky right on top of our mountain. That mountain's thick enough where it's not going to to puncture it or it's not going to fall. So we'll just pour this all on top. Again, every time I've done this, it's turned out a little differently, but all pretty similar. It's cool how you can, you literally can never recreate the same soap. You, unless you're doing a one color soap, but if you're doing swirls, um, it's impossible to create the exact same soap twice. That's what's cool about this. 
craft. So the last thing we're gonna do is take these little sun, uh, melt and pour uh, soaps, they're round. I created these with clear melt and pour and a little bit of uh, Tangerine Dream and Bright Yellow Raincoat. And I'm gonna put these right on the cut line. Literally right on the cut line. I'm gonna push them down inside of there. Because when I cut the soap, I want to cut straight through the sun so that every soap has a sun on both sides. The last thing I'm gonna do is just give this a touch of a texture and push the side that doesn't have the suns over. It'll be slight because I am still a little thin and that's okay. So we'll just shove that over, make sure we aren't uncovering in a mountain area because we want him to be covered. Perfect. And then I'm going to take just a touch of dead sea salt and put it down here on the edge. Just to give it a little interest on the top. No glitter. Nothing like that. This is definitely a fragrance and a soap that can be used by both men and women. So I'm going to be mindful of that. I'm going to spritz of rubbing alcohol. And I will bring you back when it's time to cut into it. All right, let's cut into our lake soap and see how our landscape turned out. Oh, we did it. Oh, that's cool. I've done this before and I still think it's cool. Um, I think this is the third time I've made this soap. All right. The key is to try to hit a sun in bed in every single bar. All right, kind of looks like a volcano, but honestly, if, if, if you saw the picture earlier that I showed, this um, kind of mountain, Sugarloaf Mountain, does look like a volcano a little bit. You can definitely, oh, that one's gonna, that one's gonna shine brighter when it gets used. <laughs> This smell is nice and refreshing. Definitely smells, smells like summer.